using table set and tables in the TI-84 Plus graphing calculator. This video lesson refers to the TI-83 and TI-84 series of graphing calculators. Pictured here is the TI-84 Plus Silver Edition graphing calculator. I strongly invite the viewer to follow along with your calculator to get as much as possible from this video lesson on using table set. Pause and rewind as necessary. We access the function editor by pressing the Y equals key at the upper left of the keypad. We enter the function Y equals 2x squared plus 2x minus 5. Press second. Press graph to get the table view. From here we can use the up and down arrows to examine different input-output relationships in the table of values. This is a very powerful feature allowing us to go wherever we want to go to see input-output relationships. Now, press second, then press the window key to access the table set menu. The table setup is a very powerful feature that gives us a lot of flexibility to analyze functions. This first line under table setup is table start, which here means that the table is set to start at an input value of zero. We can scroll to any integer value we want, even if it takes us a long time to get there. And in table start, we can enter any real number we want. It doesn't even have to be a whole number. For example, here we've entered 11.5. Now press second, press graph, and table start takes us right to the place that we entered, 11.5. Note that the input values are all increasing in one unit increments, all ending in 0.5. Here now I've entered an equation that gives the percentage of carbon-14 remaining dependent on the number of years. If we were asked to find the percentage of carbon-14 remaining after 25,000 years, that would require going to table view a lot of scrolling, at least several minutes and maybe more than that. But with a table set menu we just press second, then the Windows key. We can set table start at 25,000 for 25,000 years. Now to evaluate we press second, then graph. We get 4.4503 as an output meaning that after 25,000 years 4.4503% of the carbon-14 will be remaining. That sure beats scrolling all the way to 25,000 from zero. Now let's look at this graph function. It looks like kind of could be a cubic function. Let's say that we're trying to find the roots or zeros of this function. We'll go to the table view by pressing second, then graph. We scroll up to look for roots, that is where y equals zero. We see no zeros anywhere in the Y1 values column. So let's go to table set by pressing second, then window. Let's change table start to negative 1.5, then change the delta table or change in table. We change delta table from the standard 1 to 0.1 or 1 tenth of 1. Now press second, then graph. Let's scroll down looking for zeros. Here's a zero at x equals negative 0.3, and here's another zero at x equals 0.2, and we also have a root or zero at x equals 1.1. So these three roots were ones that we could not find using integer values, but we were able to find them using tenths. Now we'll apply the use of table set on this problem. Sam's Bike Shop will charge you $50 per hour plus $200 for parts to repair your mountain bike. Sue's Bike Shop will charge you $25 per hour plus $375 for parts for the repairs. After how many hours is the repair cost the same at both shops? We enter the two functions in our function editor. Sam's Bike Shop is represented by the equation y equals 50x plus 200, while Sue's is represented by the equation y2 equals 25x plus 375. Here we are now in our table set menu. Now we'll look at a powerful feature by changing the independent entry from automatic to ask. We go over to ask and press enter to highlight it. This is what we now see in the table view. We press second graph. There are no input values for x. We must enter them. And we need to enter them because we have no output values in order to evaluate. 
What happened to our input values? In the table set ask mode, we have no established input values. We can enter each one of the answer choices as input values. Here is 23 hours entered as an input value. For an input value of 23 hours, Sam's Bike Shop charges $1,350 and Sue's Bike Shop charges $950. Since the amounts are not the same, we cross off answer F. Next, we'll enter answer choice G, 7 and 2 thirds. And here below, we've entered 7 plus 2 over 3. Press Enter. We see $583.33 for Sam's Bike Shop and $566.67 for Sue's Bike Shop. So being a lot closer, but still not equal, we cross off answer G as well. Now we'll enter 7 for answer H. Now we've entered 7 for answer H, and we see that for 7 hours each bike shop charges $550. And so that means that the charges are equal at that amount of time. So we circle H as our correct answer. Now to summarize, table set is a very powerful feature of your graphing calculator. With it, you can start the table where you want with table start. You can set the spacing or intervals between input values in any amount you want using delta table. And you can choose the exact table values you want using ask instead of the standard automatic inputs. There are follow-up video lessons regarding operations accessed by these function keys at the top of the keypad. There's the stat plot menu, the window function, the zoom menu, and the calc menu. You may specifically access any of the video lessons on these features by clicking on the associated button in the bottom half of this image. This has been using table set and tables on the TI-84 Plus graphing calculator. Thanks for viewing.